Hey, what's going on everyone? Uh, this is going to be a very, very quick video here showing you uh, some of the stuff that I have purchased recently to make my experience with the uh, Pika 4 way better than it actually already is. So right now I am unboxing a few uh, uh, items that I have purchased, especially this one here, uh, which we are taking a look. Uh, let's... Uh, Take it out of the box here real quick uh, we have a uh, thank you note here uh, from the uh, manufacturer I guess and uh, some references there to technical support but here's the uh, uh, the actual component that I purchased this is a uh, USB type C to Ethernet adapter as you can see here uh, it is or it looks to be made of a uh, pretty solid material looks to be aluminum here uh, here you can see the R RJ45 uh, female and here uh, we are taking a look at the charger port. This is the good thing about this uh, uh, USB-C to Ethernet adapter that allows you to charge your Pika 4 while you're playing through USB-C to Ethernet connectivity if you will. And this is, this is going to help you uh, not have to do USB tether because uh, I've seen some people, including myself in the past, having problems with uh, USB tether with windows crashing with blue screen. Uh, this is pretty much going to get away with all those complications that come along with the drivers for USB tether. So now let's go ahead and take a look here. Uh, another package, this one came from Amazon, as you can see there on the uh, happy smile. Uh, let's uh, go ahead and unwrap the, uh, the back here. I show you here in a bit what this is. So pretty much I'm trying to just show you here everything that you need to be able to do USB-C to Ethernet connectivity on your Pika 4. Uh, so as you can see here, uh, if I'm not mistaken, this is the uh, USB-C cable that I have uh, here, the one in the middle, but we'll take a look here later. I have a, a few other stuff here that I want to show you first. Firstly, let me kind of show you what this is. I'm not sure if you are able to uh, tell what this is uh, right now, but I'm going to try to pull one of these uh, extensions here out of the uh, package so I can show it to you in a closer uh, look, if you will. Okay, so, right, so this is a female to female USB-C extension, if you will. And what this is going to help me do is connect that USB-C to uh, Ethernet adapter that you see on the right side there to one end of this extension and the other end is going to be connected uh, to the USB-C that we have, uh, cable that we have in the middle there on that blue and white package, if you will. But before I show you that USB cable, let me go ahead and show you here uh, the uh, other cable that we need. Because again, I mean, we're going to have to deal with a lot of cabling here, if you will. Um, this one that I am uh, getting out of the box or the package here, uh, it's uh, a uh, Ethernet category 6 cable here rj45 uh male to rj45 male and that cable is pretty much what i am going to connect to the ethernet uh side of the adapter that you see there on the background on the on the right side um, and the other end of course is what you are going to connect to your router where you have your computer Ethernet cable connected to. That way you can provide Pika 4 network access via Ethernet cable uh, to the same local area network where your uh, desktop computer is. Let's take a look here at the uh, final package that we have uh, to make this setup work properly. And this is going to be um, the USB-C to USB-C cable. If I'm not mistaken, this is a 10 feet cable 
and now what that's going to allow me to do it's have basically some you know uh flexibility as to how far i can be from my computer or at least from my router because this whole connection is going to end up on my router not my computer like the usb tether so as you can see here we got usb c to usb c but one of them it's a 90 degree usb c head which is the one that is going to go to your pico for it uh, that way you don't have to have like the straight the straight out of uh that was USB-C connection going to your uh, Pika 4 because that can introduce a lot of problems such as either the cable head breaking or maybe worst case scenario the Pika 4 USB-C poor breaking if you kind of like hit it with something when you are just playing and moving your head if you will right so let me show you uh, what the plan is here so let's go ahead and use the extension that I showed you before uh, this is how I plan to set it up uh, once I get this running. So one end goes to one end of the extension and then the other end uh, is where I am going to connect the USB-C to Ethernet adapter, especially the USB side of the uh, adapter, if you will. As you can see here, it went in place perfectly. And then of course, on the other side is where I am going to connect uh, one side of my uh ethernet category 6 cable if you will and it went right in place there very nice right so again this side of the cable the ethernet cable is what's going to go to your router so just keep that in mind because again your pico 4 is going to have its unique connection to your router uh, network if you will and this side is what's going to go to your pico 4 usb c port and as you can see there, that one comes with a uh, uh, Velcro that's going to help you kind of tie, tie that cable in place on your Pika 4. Right. Let's so, uh, show you this again. This is the whole setup. And uh, all we have pending right now is to just connect the, this side of the cable to the uh, Pika 4. And I, I do apologize because I thought I had everything in focus here. Uh, but right now, I kind of cut the uh, upper side of the Pika 4 there uh, without realizing. But don't worry, I'm going to show you how this looks uh, in a second here. Once I get this exit in focus. Right. There I am just kind of setting up the uh, uh, Velcro, if you will, to tie that, ca that cable in place. So it doesn't have that much wiggling room, if you will while I am moving my head or, you know, playing something with my Pika 4 VR headset. Right, so this is how the whole thing looks pretty much at the end of the day. Again, this side of the cable is gonna go to your router. Keep in mind that as it is right now, you are not going to be able to charge your Pika 4 while playing, but this is what this port here that I'm showing you is going to play uh, or come into play, if you will. That port is where you are going to connect a regular uh, charger uh, into this adapter and that's what's going to allow you to charge your headset while you're playing because otherwise if you skip that part then you're gonna be able to play just fine but you're not going to be able to charge your headset at the same time so just keep that in mind because you're gonna need to buy a separate charger if you don't have one laying around in your house all right so I appreciate you uh, joining me here again uh, and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Take care.